Good morning, guys, and welcome back. I decided I'm going to do a daily read today. Um, I don't know, just some old pop-up shit. Collectively. So, I just sat here shuffling my cards for the last... I don't know how long... Sorry, y'all. <coughs> All I got left is pressure. I'm gonna give me some more. <laughs> Thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. Thank you for blessing me and blessing the collective. Thank you for your rejection being our protection. I just want to pray that you continue to help us heal and continue to light the path for us to walk on. In God's name I pray. Amen. God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors, please give me a clear and concise message that will be good for the collective at this time. The hermit. <laughs> Somebody's uh, withdrawing from a situation in order to take their self in the calmer waters. Retreating. The hermit, the six of swords, and the four of swords is all about retreating. But with the six and the swords, six of swords and the four of swords together, that makes a 10, meaning something is over. Somebody could be going out and exploring new options, going out and exploring new adventure. Somebody's on the journey with their heart, with their heart open, possibly even looking for love or to have their wishes fulfilled. <coughs> Excuse me, but I do feel like a lot of... <coughs> Feeling is still look at that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. A lot of healing is taking place, but then under there. Somebody's opening up somebody's heart. Somebody's healing somebody. By just retreating from them. Or withdrawing from them or something like that. Or it, it, I don't. Maybe it's not healing them. It's opening up their heart, because we got the hermit, the six of swords, and then um, the four of swords. But then we got coming out the page of cups and the nine of cups. But if you look, both of their heart spaces, the heart space is lit up in both of them cards. And then temperance is healing. So the heart space is lit up for healing. And this queen of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like she's the one initiating it. She's initiating it because if you look, she's she's using her power. And look, she's lifting the ice off of her head. Like, this is a crown, right? But it's made of ice and it should be water. So, somebody's emotions or their heart froze over, over over time. But I feel like this Cancer Scorpio Pisces had the power to open it up. Look at that King of Heart. His heart space is open. Yeah, because look at that. They both got that ice crown. But I feel like with this thing, whatever she's doing, he can feel it too. She's helping them both. This this King of Cups don't have to be a water sign, but it could be. But I feel like this can Cancer Scorpio Pisces is helping this King of Cups. And this King of Cups could be a Capricorn. He could be a La uh, Aries, uh, Libra, uh, Aries, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Wait a minute. Aries, Libra, Aquarius. One of them don't belong. Aries don't belong, but they could be an Aries because I'm throwing it out there. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, it could be either one of them. Okay, but I do feel like this person has been closed off emotionally. They've been only logically thinking. They don't be used to running around you being mean, being cold, being calculated, being toxic, being hurt, closed off. And I feel like you, this Queen of Cups, whoever you are, Cancer, Scott, Pisces, Scorpio, you came along and showed this person something new. In a friendship and a collaboration, you could have met this person at work here, but I feel like it's going to be an end here to this person being closed off, cold, calculated. And I feel like it's going to be some type of celebration or reconciliation or something between friends because this person spent so long disappointed and stagnated and focusing on cry, you know, crying over the past, stuck looking back instead of forward. And I feel like you helped free this person because look at that. Five of Cups, Three of Cups. They no longer looking back. It's only two to focus on now. See, you help this person stop looking backwards at these Three Cups so they can focus on the two and the forward. This lady's now focused forward. 
I feel like you might even put a lot of work into this person. A lot of a lot of nourishment, a lot of just in, infinite love is what I feel with this part with this. Okay, I feel like you put a lot into it, a lot of energy, a lot of effort with the eight of pentacles and the six of pentacles. And I feel like finally, and it took a while, I feel like it took a long time. But finally, there's a death and a rebirth happening with this king of this king of cups. For so long, he spent trapped in his head, but I don't feel like he's trapped anymore. Okay, I feel like he found his way free, and now he's thinking of what to do next. Okay, because because look at that. Yep, pulling off the blindfold. She's pulling off the blindfold in order to stand her ground up, because somebody wants this victory. And they want to be strong, and they want to be courageous, and they want to use all the manifesting skills they have. They got a lot of anxiety, and they are guarded still. But they want to find the balance here with this with this Queen of Cups. They want to bring have something new with her. They want to take a leap of faith. Why? Because the heart space is now open. Because the Queen of Cups took this out. She took this. Do you see that heart? It's all it's all messed up. She patched it up, and you know, and it was it was this person was crying out of agony, and she come along, and she patched it up, and helped them, and oh, showed them how to open it. And this person might even snuck away from her because of the connection was too deep, and, and they seen her as an empress. Okay. Ooh, but I do feel like something went wrong because the cycle got closed here. The Queen of Cups possibly didn't get what she needed after the deal. And um, now she's closing the cycle. So guess what happens? Something's got to change. Something's happening. The Wheel of Fortune, a sudden change. And then we have the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. Somebody could be putting it into a, a structure, a commitment, or some type of uh, spiritual beliefs, uh, practical beliefs, whatever kind of beliefs that you believe, you know. And, or, and they're moving. They're moving, but they're moving slow. But I feel like they're coming this way here. And they're, they're working on they're probably their finances here. But they got some truth that they want to speak to you about emotional fulfillment. Because ever since you closed out the cycle, this person can't help but to feel left out in the cold. Because guess what you did, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces? You, you put you put your three, the green thumb on this motherfucker. It could have been a, uh, look at that, the moon energy and the high priestess. Could have been a Cancer or a Pisces, heavy Pisces energy. Uh, heavy on the Pisces, but somebody intuitively um, knew that this person was stuck, or they intuitively knew that this person was keeping their self stuck, or focusing on the wrong thing. Uh, maybe a relationship from the past here, uh, with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, and they sat there just waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting to, to take charge, to go back to the past. Still waiting. But I feel like this person now wants to take action towards a new path going forward. There's the strength back there, and there's the action he wants to take. Because judgment. Judgment days got here. And now this person wants to deliver you a brand new beginning. I'm about to put my cat out real quick because she's in heat. Just a second. Okay. I'm back. She didn't have to go out there and cry. Shit. I don't want to hear that shit up there. I know she can't help it. But shit. She can have to help it out there. <laughs> so. Eight of Cups. Like I said, somebody's walking away, and I feel like it's this Queen of Cups. She's walking away. Look at that. She's got a fire burning in her heart for this King of Wands, this King of Cups. And it's deep, too. Look at it. It's just out there flowing in the middle of the water. And even in the water, this fire didn't get put out. I feel like a flood happened. Like something, something, like a, some kind of commotion, some kind of fight, some kind of arguing happened in order to make this Queen of Cups walk away. But the fire is still burning. She's walking away from the fire burning and everything. She walking away to find something emotional fulfilling for her. And I feel like this is going to call it, like I was saying, I feel like it's going to cause a tower for that King of Cups here. Yeah. Because she's moving forward without his ass. <laughs> Not so fast, Queen of Cups, says the King of Cups. She's coming after that ass. Like, where do you think you're going, Knight of, Wand Knight of Swords? I got something that I want to present you with. Something that's stable, something that's tangible, something small, but it's real. And look, they go that King of Pentacles. Remember, I told you this man went back to the past and it was a Queen of Pentacles there? And here he is, kind of come out to the future. Now, this is, I feel like this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles is the same person towards Virgo Capricorn. But I do feel like, let's see. 
five of swords. Yeah, that's that bad decision he made. That's all he said. He's sitting there thinking about the bad decision that he made. Four of Wands. Knight of Cups. Queen of Swords. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like um this I feel like this um this Queen of Cups is also this um Queen of Swords, Libra Aquarius Gemini. <coughs> she cut his ass out because something wasn't going right. But now it has the Knight of Cups wanting to bring in a love offer to the Queen of Swords because he's holding on to her. And also he's holding back something that he needs to speak, something that he needs to say. Um with this eight of cups here, though, I feel like somebody's definitely walking away. And walking away brings a tower moment. It forces, practically forces somebody to come chasing behind this Queen of Cups. Offering something stable to keep her from walking away. Because the only way she's going to stay is if it's something tangible, something stable to keep her staying. This fire burning, it wasn't even enough. Yes, she got a lot of love and a lot of passion, but it wasn't enough if somebody wasn't going to give what she's giving. Okay? To cause him the tower, right under the tower is the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is the one going through the tower because this Queen, this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, done walked off. Because look, if I can't have nothing long term stable, set in stone, then this ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to move on. So now she's moving on, and this King of Pentacles is like, damn, why the fuck did I let her do that? King of Swords, remember the King of Swords came out too on the bottom. Um, that's why I said we got the key, the water, that we got the water, the pinnacles in there. That's why I feel like somebody's mustering up to become the emperor here. A lot of people are mustering up the emperor right now. You have to master all four kings to become the emperor. And a lot of people have three down pack, okay? So, but this king of swords, I mean, this king of pinnacles, look at him. He's looking. All he can do is look at that decision he made. Look, at he, he's forced to look at what he did, what decision that he made, what bad decision he made to force this person about his life. So now he's forced to do that. And I feel like when he looks at it, it makes him feel like, like shit. Because I do feel like, because cause it, it forces him up in action to go chase after this Queen of Cups. Look at this person. This motherfucker ain't playing. He told the motorcycle to get a head start. That means he running fast than a bitch. He gonna catch up to the motorcycle. He got the bow and arrow. He ready. He on his way. He ain't playing. Doing 80 and a 60 fucking ticket. You know why? Because what this Queen of Cups was offering him, it was stable. It was solid. It was secure. He didn't see it, is what I'm saying. His back was turned when he made this bad decision. See that man back there? His back was turned. The crow was in it. He had dark, dark ass crows in his ear. Negative energy. I felt like he was surrounded by darkness. He was in a bad space in his life when he made this decision. So, I want to see what the decision was. What's the decision? Five of Swords. What was the bad the bad choice for the for this King of Pentacles? What's this bad choice? Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? <clears throat> Why the five of swords? A collaboration. Five of Pentacles reverse. Um, okay, see. He went back. Remember at the bottom he was with <clears throat> he was with that the, the six of cups was with the Queen of Pentacles. He went his decision was to go back to the past. Because that's what he was trying to get, emotional fulfillment. But what he got was heartbreak. And a realization that the emotional fulfillment was yet, was actually with the Queen of Cups. Okay? So now he's got to go in there and stand up and fight for this. And she said, he got to go in there and speak to her. And she see him as toxic. She see him as the devil. One more on this Five of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Swords. She see him as trying to keep her trapped. He, she felt like he was holding her down. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he had a marriage or a commitment that he went back to. That he wanted to bring out of the code. Okay. So he started working on that. Putting in the work on that. 
But I don't feel like two. I don't feel like whoever whoever he he went to put in the work. But that was it because it's five of pentacles and it's three of pentacles. It's an eight of pentacles. But somebody wasn't working because the five is upside down. Somebody was given a bare minimum. And I, and I feel like the person. I feel like this king of pentacles gave you the bare minimum. And then he went to this person, whoever he was dealing with, could have been another earth sign, and he got the bare minimum. This is my half-assed work card. Anybody know me? I know I say that a while. With the three of pentacles, it's a half-assed putting in work. Why? Because eight of pentacles is working. Three of pentacles ain't doing much work if the eight of pentacles is working. So this is somebody giving you half-assed work towards Virgo Capricorn male. Somebody gave this king of pentacles half-assed work, and now he's feeling that the effects of his bad decision, trying to go back and resurrect some shit that was dead. Now, he wants to change. Guess what he want? He want to change to the Queen of Cups from the Queen of Pentacles. And guess what his other mistake was, was juggling. Here he is, King of Cups. Because he's originally supposed to be a King of Cups, right? He's supposed to be with the Queen of Cups. But he's too busy trying to be with the King, the Queen of Pentacles. So what's done happen is, he done went through some type of shift or transformation. And he's no longer the King of Pentacles. He's now transforming the King of Cups. Because he's went through the King of Air. He's went through the King of Pentacles. He, he's got, he's moving on through the King of Cups. He might even been, the, he's going to be the King of Fire when he take action. So once he moves through all of those, that makes him the Emperor. Okay, that activates the Emperor in him. So he's now at the King of Cups, you know, where he's, he's, he's emotionally maturing himself. He's taking the time to reflect and think, damn, I really do want this with her. She retreated because I was too busy trying to be in and out and inconsistent. And now she's gone to calmer waters. He's stressed the fuck out. He really is. And he wants to bring the justice in. So now he's trying to sneak away from the other chick. Like he just snuck away from you. Because he, you know, he don't want that option. He don't. It's an option out there. It's an option out there that he don't want to miss. That's why. It's victory that he wants. And he wanted as the emperor. I'm telling you. So he's going to put an end to it. So he can go into this lover's connection because he feels like it's his destiny. It's time for a reconciliation. It's time to bring in the balance. It's time to be with his empress. Okay, 17, 17 on the clock. What's the Eight of Cups? What's the Eight of Cups? That's what I was getting on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this, 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 um, who now King of Pentacles was a King of Swords at first. I was like, this could be any sign because they're just maneuvering through the kings to get to the emperor, whoever this is. This could be any man. If it resonates with you, it don't matter what the sign is. It could, it's just resonating, okay? Because this person was trapped in their head when you came around, okay? Could have been, it could have been a Virgo with the hermit, but it caused them to be, withdraw from you, okay? That's what they made a decision to withdraw because maybe the connection was too deep with it, the lovers coming out. But I feel, but look, Ace of Ace of Cups, Ace of uh, Swords. I feel like with you standing your ground and walking away from this person, it causes a lot of hurt for them, and that that's when they realize what emotional fulfillment is and that's when they decide that they the, the this is emotional fulfillment the past was not okay so that's when they realize the clarity of the truth okay the truth is damn i want this love i want this love it ain't no woman like this i don't want to miss her so he now they in the tower what's the tower because they don't now they having a realization that they want this fucking love clarify this tower clarify the tower King of Wands on the bottom. There he go. The tower pushing him into action. Just like I said. Forces him to move forward. Ten of Swords reverse. Wait a minute. This ended? It can't be over. I need to, re I need to, uh-uh. We need to stop this. Queen of Wands. There he is. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. He's like, wait a minute. That's my Empress. She gone? No, she's not. I'm diving out there. I need new love with her. She can't go. Taking action. To offer something stable, a relationship, a commitment. Not caring about the opinions of the family. Because this is what makes me happy. And that's judgment for somebody being cold and calculated when they were supposed to be going in a relationship and planning out the future with you. But they were too hurt in a dark place so they couldn't see it clearly. What's the chariot? Yeah, the star. Could be an Aquarius somewhere in the mix or a Cancer. But this person wants to move forward to heal with you. I'm like, no, that's mine. Uh-uh. What a chariot.
So by now, if you're a twin and you're a divine feminine and you're sitting around waiting, you might want to cut that out, sweet pea. <clears throat> That's not how that works, okay? Because we're not supposed to focus so much on going in the union. And I know, I know. I did it three three years. I did it probably even longer than that. But you're not supposed to focus on you. And you're supposed to focus on becoming the best aspect of yourself. And once you in 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 losing the, the attachments of the ego. And your ego is what holds on to, I got to have this outcome. I got to be with my masculine. I got to do this and I got to do that. It's not good. You got to let it go. You let it get, let it go. The real reconciliation comes when you let go and you walk away and you move forward. And your masculine sees, feels in his heart that this is not what he wants. He cannot afford to lose you. And only then will he come chasing after you. Because if you're sitting there waiting around on him, he don't think you're going nowhere. He don't think you're going to go nowhere. He don't just keep doing what the fuck you're doing. They go to King of Cups again. But the King of Cups is who's coming to get this queen. Knight of Swords. Page of Wands. Reverse. He's taking some type of risk. Yeah. Because, yeah, he, because, I yeah. Because even though, that's what he said, even though he was the king of swords, he'd still caught feelings. He still got deep feelings. Could be a Pisces out here, but he still got feelings. And even though he moved slow and he was mean, I feel like he's changing. That's changing with the page of wands reverse. I had to see what that's about. Limiting beliefs, creator angst, a need to redirect your energy, feeling eager to start something new but confronted by obstacles, hot headedness, being rebellious. Ooh, so this person might be moving fast and they might be a little hot headed coming your way because they move slow, because they misjudged, because they seen the wrong thing. So now they moving fast and they might be a little bit hot headed because they got a lot of passion, they don't know what to do with it. But, you know, they mustering up their strength to come bring this change to the Empress. Who is the Queen of Cups? Who walked away from their ass and they can't, they just can't have that. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. So here they are, going to destiny. Ace of Wands. Yeah, the devil. Mm. Could be a Capricorn. The emperor. All right, this this emperor is obsessed. <laughs> the devil and the emperor, and a little bit of controlling. I don't like that. I don't know if I like the devil and the emperor. That's a lot of passion and a lot of obsession. But he's like, we need to balance this. We need to be together. I am overly passionate for you. We need to make something grow. We need to work on this. Come on. I courage all my put all my courage in this. I want change. Please, Empress. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why the devil? Oh, he's doing it with his fear and all. He's afraid. That's why the devil, because he can't see he can't see clearly. He don't know where it's going. And he just, you know. He don't know if it's going to be a good idea. Now, he don't know if this is going to be a good choice. He don't know if it's going to be chaotic or things may have been chaotic. But, and you know, he can't really see. But this all this devil is is him being afraid but still wanting to have a victory. So he's taking charge as the emperor. And keep in mind that um, it take a lot of courage to muster up past some shit that you're scared to do. King of Wands. Sorry, what's this King of Pentacles? The justice, the seven of swords. He bringing in justice for his deceptive behavior. For sneaking away. Yeah, for not putting in any work. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. For being deceptive and not, and not returning the work you put into him. For not putting in any effort. Not even half the effort you put. He's coming to bring in justice for that. And it's going to be a complete and utterly change. Because he now knows you are the empress. Now, let's see about this four of wands. Now, what do you want to go in union? What's this four of wands? 
Yeah, Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Two of Pentacles. <laughs> but what's the Two of Pentacles? As long as it ain't no juggling. Uh, no. What's this Two of Pentacles? What's that up there? Knight of Swords. Oh, he got other people's opinions at him. Okay, yeah, uh, no. Ain't no confusion or no options. I was just like, wait a minute. No, he put an end to everything else. Look, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups reverse means there is no other options, no confusion. They know exactly what they want. They don't give a damn what other people got to say. They are balancing this out with you. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. So, yep, that's what I got for you. The Emperor's trying to clean up his act, but he's really not. Um, the Empress walks away. Well, the Empress walking away after base the Emperor waking his shit up. He says he's just gonna be a, a prick until the end. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you in the next video. Namaste.